Hi, this is my very first episode of telling you the story among the many saints that has been part of our growth. I would like you to know and meet Saint Teresa of Avila. Teresa was the daughter of a noble parent in Spain, and she was when she was only seven years of age. She and her little brother liked to read stories from the lives of the saints, and one of their favorite games was playing hermit in their father's garden. When Teresa was still quite young, she became crippled by disease and was unable to walk. But you know what? She really prayed to Saint Joseph who cured her. Teresa has lost, she did lost her mother when she was 12. But then she begged the mother of God to be her mother. So five years after her mother's death, she joined the Carmelites order and she built many new convents. Yeah, I am a witness to the Carmelites and she is one of the founders because she's very sincere in her prayers. By a life of the covenant prayer, Teresa brought many souls to Jesus. Her many writings show her great love of God. And Teresa, those beautiful words, let nothing trouble you. Her beautiful words is saying, let nothing trouble you. Let nothing make you afraid. All things pass away. God never changes. Patience obtains everything. God alone is enough. October 4, on October 4, 1582, Jesus appeared to Teresa with many saints. She begged him to take her to himself. After her prayer, her soul was taken to heaven. Now, this is Teresa of Avila. She is also the patron saint of Talisay, where I grew up. And from then, she also organized, under her name, uh, was organized a lot of school, like St. Teresa of Avila. St. Teresa that created a lot of powerful speakers, just like her. She speaks well, she reads well, and she cures well. So these are the lives of the saints. So this is just the very first and story that I will share to you. But I can also share to you the story of a male saint back to back with a female saint. Now this saint is called Gerard. Saint Gerard was born on Maru, Italy on April 23, 1726. His father, um, Taylor, died when the boy was 12. Leaving the family in poverty, Gerard could not join the Capuchins because of ill health. But he was accepted by the Redemptorist as a lay brother. So he served as a sacristan, a gardener, a porter, an infirmarian, you know, the one that watches the hospital and sick people, and the tailor. But even during his life, Gerard was called the Wonder Worker because uh, given extraordinary knowledge, he had a heroic spirit of penance which caused him to suffer in silence when falsely accused of immoral conduct by an evil woman who later confessed her lie. Because of this, or because he helped a woman on the verge of childbirth, he is involved as a patron of expectant mothers. So, uh, Gerard died of tuberculosis in 1755 at the age of 29. His last request was that his small note he tacked to his door. 
Here the will of God is done, as God wills. And as long as God wills, Brother Gerard was canonized by Pope St. Pius X, December 11, 1904. Wow, what a beautiful word from St. Gerard. Here the will of God is done, as God wills, as, the, as long as God wills. Now, St. Gerard Mahilia, his prayer is, God, by your grace, St. Gerard, cover in taking Christ in his poverty and humility. <laughs> and through and great that we may faithfully follow our vocation and reach that expectation which you hold out to us in your son, the patron saint of expectant mothers. So the prayer, going back as uh, the first um, saint that I mentioned, Saint Teresa of Avila, her prayer is also, O oh God, our Savior, grant that we may be fed with the food of heavenly teaching and grow in true devotion through the prayers of Saint Teresa, the patroness against headaches. Everyone has headaches because of our issues in life and circumstances like the storm of death. But I know this is the patron saint of the saint. We can be intervened through Jesus, through her, Saint Teresa. 